It is set to be a busy week for airline pilots and the unsung heroes of air travel, air traffic controllers. The travel rush is still accelerating as the FAA is expecting 52,000 flights to hit the skies tomorrow uh, for the holiday week. But the combination of bad weather and huge volume of travelers will challenge the airlines and air traffic controllers this week. So let's bring in Dr. Scott Denstead. He's the founder of Easy Weather Brief, a certified flight instructor and a former National Weather Service meteorologist. Scott, a one-stop shop for all things weather and aviation. Great to have you with us, especially in a big week like this. You wrote an article on how weather shapes air traffic control. This is effectively the Super Bowl for ATC. So what is the week like, and is there a type of weather or storm or specific, specific region that's most vulnerable? Well, you know, it's, uh, it, it's, a, it's a gamble. I mean, when we fly general aviation, it's not just about, you know, getting in an airplane and going and, and, and getting there. There's a lot of data that pilots need to consume in order to, you know, do a, a, a good job. You know, years ago, um, people went to a flight service station, pilots went to a flight service station, actually got a one-on-one -on -one briefing. Now it's all done over the internet via various different heavyweight apps out there. So, you know, they're looking for, pilots are looking for areas of, of uh, airframe icing potential. They're looking for thunderstorm potential. They're looking for low ceilings and poor visibility, strong crosswinds. All that has to be basically consumed. And then at that point in time, they can make good decisions on their altitude, maybe the route of flight or even their time to depart. So I know a lot of the general public they might feel a touch, at least, like airlines hide behind weather as a blanket culprit for flight delays. But with something like 52,000 flights, as we said, uh, tomorrow, that ripple effect can happen very fast. Are there any common myths or, or misconceptions that people might have about air traffic control or, or air travel overall that you hear a lot, particularly in the holiday season? Yeah, I think for the most part, you know, air traffic controllers can't see what the pilots see outside the cockpit. So, you know, ultimately, as you know, you can have a pretty big towering cumulus, which is really nasty to fly through. Um, ultimately, you know, that's where a lot of deviations can occur. And air traffic control can only handle so much. When, so when you're in a situation where there's a lot of uh, you know, convective weather, a lot of thunderstorms in the area, a lot of times, you know, pilots do the best they can to keep the passengers from coming out of their seats or spilling their drinks. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that unfortunately sucks up a lot of airspace. Yeah. It's just a limited number of airspace. And as soon as you get to a point where at this you know, point in time, you know, the system eventually can break down, uh, but air traffic controllers trying to do their best at keeping, you know, some semblance of order in all of this chaos that's going on. Yeah, that's, that's the idea, getting there safely and reasonably. And obviously, passengers want that to happen on time. It becomes uh, quite a challenge when weather is in the mix. You mentioned, though, how pilots get their weather information. Your company, Easy Weather Brief, specializes in planning and showing pilots the risks associated with, with any given generated flight plan. What's the feedback been like? What have you heard from pilots? Well, um, I am not a marketing expert. I'm a scientist. So ultimately, you know, I struggle with the marketing aspect of things. But in the end, you know, um, I, I found over, over time, I offer a 30-day trial. And ultimately, uh, folks have, that have actually signed up for the, the app, the easywxbrief.com, it's a progressive web app, and used it for a while, they realized just how easy it is to actually do a pre-flight briefing. And they use my app basically for their pre-flight briefing. And at that point in time, they take that, uh, they, they go into the cockpit with some of the other heavyweight apps like Garmin Pilot and actually get their in-flight weather and their charts and maps. Yeah, well, that's, uh, you let the science do the marketing then, and that can, can be uh, the best proponent. But what we know is we want our pilots to know where all the bad weather is, same uh, for air traffic control, to help keep things running smoothly and most importantly, get people to see their family and friends through the busy season safely. Uh, that's Scott Denstead, the founder of Easy Weather Brief and a certified flight instructor. Uh, thanks for being with us on Fox Weather. My pleasure, Ian.